Kinsley Kanuta Kanu, brother to the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nam de Kanu, on Thursday claimed that Kenya has confirmed in court that his sibling did not undergo extradition proceedings in the East African nation. Kanuta Kanu made this known in a statement he signed, which was shared by top lawyer, barrister, Alor Ejimako. Politics Nigeria recalls that Ejimako, a special counsel to Nam de Kanu, had always maintained that his client was adopted in Kenya before being brought to Nigeria in June. Ejimako argued that since Kanu is a British citizen and entered Kenya with his British passport, he ought not to have been brought to Nigeria for any reason without valid court orders for his extradition. He said that Kanu's fundamental human rights were grossly violated by those who masterminded his rendition to Nigeria, accusing the Kenyan government of culpability. He maintained that it was against international laws to illegally arrest somebody on foreign land, an act that amounts to adoption. According to Ejemako, Kanu cannot be lawfully prosecuted by the federal government of Nigeria unless the issue of his extraordinary rendition is first discharged. If he is to stand trial in Nigeria, he will first be returned to Kenya and Britain, where he resides, before Nigeria will apply for his extradition in a British court. Now, in seeking freedom for Nam de Kanu, Kanuta Kanu claims that the Kenyan government filed its suit in respect of the separatist leaders' matter on Tuesday. And part of their defense was that there was no extradition proceedings to justify that it is responsible for Nam Dikano's extradition. The press statement from Nam Dikano's defense team reads in part, On the 2nd of November 2021, the government of Kenya filed its defense to the suit I had earlier filed in Kenya on behalf of my brother Mazi Nam Dikano. To be recorded that following my brother's extraordinary rendition in June, this year, the Kenyan government had publicly issued a series of statements denying its complicity in this abominable act. In the said defense that it filed in court, Kenya has not only persisted in its denial, but it went further to confirm that my brother was denied the benefit of the due process of extradition in Kenya or even a lawful arrest. In particular, the defense the Kenyan government filed in the court stated in major part that there was no extradition proceedings to justify that the government of Kenya is responsible for the subject's extradition. The statement added, it further stated that there is no OB record from any of the police station within the country to indicate that the subject in issue was lawfully arrested and detained for purposes of commencing extradition proceedings. It needs to be emphasized that our both admissions have officially confirmed our long-held position that Mazi Namdekanu's transfer from Kenya to Nigeria is unlawful, not lawful as was claimed by the Nigerian government. This latest revelation, officially made in open court, by Kenya further solidifies our abiding position that the Nigerian government cannot benefit from its own wrong by subjecting my brother to trial. As the next hearing date unfolds to 7th of December 2021, more legal processes will be in view. Our immediate goal is to secure the unconditional release of Mazi Namdekano from detention. From the very start, um, Kenya, the government of Kenya, and they've been insisting that they know nothing, they have no hand. And it was quite surprising because if someone was taken from your country, uh, you're saying you have no hand, then how did it happen? Uh, we know that uh, Nam Dekano's family filed a suit in court against Kenyan government. It was during that suit that Kenyan's government, trying to defend themselves, that they now explain that there was no document sent to them of even arrest, that um, Nam Dekano has been arrested and they want to put in a procedure and they want to take him back to Nigeria, that there was nothing like that. So we can see that um, this Nam Dekano's extradition back to Nigeria was all illegal. No wonder Malami. Malami was just um, so excited on the day he broke the news, on the morning he broke the news to Nigerians that Nam Dekano is now in the custody of the Department of State Services. And even when the British High Commission tried to um, 
ask to um, get some details on the circumstances surrounding Namdi Kano's extradition. Malami wouldn't speak. He wouldn't say anything. He couldn't say anything because he knows that everything was illegal. By the time they would not ask him the question that, okay, how did you file the procedure or how did you go about it? They have nothing to show for it. So what sort of case are, are they judging in court? Namdi Kano's um, counsel, they are staying right now that um, they have uh, uh, more uh, uh, that this is very good for them on their part that is even very good that they're going to file more legal process they are going to put more details together ahead of the december 7th um the next hearing for anam you know all buhari has been doing all he's been using is intimidation he's just been adjourning and adjourning even the last time there was not another um seven charge amended seven charges to nam Kano. they added seven other all of these are just stories and they are the ones that in the in the first place buhari's government is breaking the law bringing someone extraditing someone without any legal process and the kind of went to kenya with a british passport not even a nigerian passport so if someone needs to be extradited he goes back to the country of which the the passport he used to enter that country the passport he used to gain entrance into that country it was a british passport he used Buhari's government is so confused. That is why they are just trying to elongate the whole thing to see that uh, Unam Dekanu is wearied, is worn out, is frustrated, and uh, probably at some point he will just give up that uh, I'm no more in this struggle, I'm no more pursuing this. But that is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Well, guys, this one is a shocking revelation from Unam Dekanu's brother who has been pursuing the suit, who has been um, following the suit. Um, you know, even um, the British government, they questioned kenya as well the kenyan government that um, they should come and give details they should come and explain how everything went someone in your country how he was taken away he was just weeks away even without your knowledge or and uh, there was there was at some point there were speculations that um, buhari's government had an agreement with kenyan government they they, would, they, they went into a pact that uh, he was going to give them something that was how they kept short but right now they are denying totally They've always denied any way that they had no hand. But right now, they're even confirming again that there was no extradition order to them. How can you take someone from a country without the government of that country knowing? What is going on? Buhari's government. Buhari's government. All sort of criminality. The criminality is even from the top. See what... Uh, and uh, Malami, who is his son, who should know better? You know, that's why calls have been made of recent that that Malami, he should... He should be he should step down he's not fit to occupy that position well guys leave us your own take thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye